Hello and welcome to a short little lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to show you something that a lot of people aren't aware of, but is actually incredibly useful. And that is Sibelius's undo redo lists. Now, anyone who's used a computer for any amount of time is aware that the hotkey to undo something is control Z. So let's say I'm just typing something into the program and then I decide to undo what it is that I just typed. I can just keep pressing control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, and that will undo all of those steps. And the hotkey to then redo something is control Y. So if I want to undo what I just undid, I just hit control Y, control Y, control Y, control Y, etc, etc. However, ironically, because most of us have always known and used these hotkeys, we've never realized that Sibelius has an even more powerful undo and redo tool. And it can be found in the top right hand corner of the screen. So I can click these two little arrows to undo and redo things. But if I click the tiny, tiny drop down arrows next to these arrows, Sibelius shows me a list of all of my previous actions and it allows me to jump back in time to whatever action I choose. And this is incredibly useful if you have to undo a lot of stuff at once. But of course, as always, when you undo things, you have to be careful when you go back in time, because as soon as you make any changes to the score, you'll lose your ability to redo your actions. So for example, let's say I go back a long way and then I change something, I do something in the score, even if I just select a note or just select the staff, you'll see that when I go back to my redo list, there's nothing available. I can't actually redo any of the actions that I've just undone. So I'm, I'm stuck here. So this is a powerful little tool. As I said, it's particularly useful if you have a lot of things to undo, a lot of things to change. So I totally recommend checking it out and I'll see you in the next lesson.